neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Louisiana Tech lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Here comes the pressure. He steps up. goes at the 47. You know, the play-action pass that time delivers a huge play. I think the defense was out of position. There was a one-on-one -on -one opportunity on the outside, and they took advantage of it. Zips it to the back. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. Gets it out quickly. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Knocked out of bounds at the four-yard line. Looking for his man. Incomplete. Just inside the five. It's second down. I got two. I got two. They'll bring him down right around the two-yard line. Touchdown, Jaguar. on the extra point. A nice six play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. And a huge contribution from the aerial attack. Boy, they had some nice big pass plays on that drive. South Alabama to kick. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 32 yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. The catch and he's got call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Wants to throw outside, and he can't hang on to it. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. 
You know, I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they start to get a little bit fatigued. South Alabama is up by a touchdown. He gets rid of this one. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 23. Big opening. Makes it out to about the 36. I love this wide receiver. I know what he can do catching the football, but man, oh man, he's trying to get in line to say, hey, I want to carry the football. He's trying to push that starting running back out of a job. Got a man, watch out here. And he shoved out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Tackle made at the 43. the 39-yard line. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home, blocking wasn't there, and down he went. It's away, short punt. And he's tackled at the 38. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 38. Good open field tackle. Fires out to his wideout. And he's tackled right around the 24-yard line. one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he just gets rid of it. From the 24-yard line, third down. and he's got his man. He's tackled at the five-yard line. That's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's taken down at the four. to get six when you're this close to the end zone. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And 
he hits the PAT. An eight play, 63 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Louisiana Tech, ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Throws to the tight end, and that falls incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, second down. He's tackled immediately after the catch. A four-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. From their own 21-yard line, third down. So the defense does their job well on that series. It's a short kick. Sheds a tackler. Tackle made at the 39. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Throws complete, he's got space to work. And he's taken down around the 22-yard line. the 19-yard line. We played one. We're even at seven in this one. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He gets rid of this one. From the 19-yard line, third down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds at the nine. Screen pass gets it to the back. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. So it's the running back who shows off his hands on the touchdown. It's such a bonus to have a back who can contribute to the passing game. Converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. And they push him out right around the 32 yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Clipping. Receiving team. team. 
That's frustrating for a coach Still when you preach down. fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's out to the 30, and he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. And now he's got room to run, and he is drilled at the 41. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That brings up second down. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Quick throw, and he's level at the 44-yard line. That's good for a of seven yards. That makes it second and two. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. Let's go! Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Looks like the defensive tackle fell on the loose ball. Good hustle there by the D lineman. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy has a motor that's running. He never quit and he played to the whistle. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes. Louisiana Tech is up seven. Tries to fit it in there and it'll be intercepted. He's on the run. To the 10. Touchdown, South Alabama. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. There he goes! Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Quick throw. 
bring him down at the 37. a couple there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That makes it third, and seven. third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Watch the curl! Watch the curl! Watch 50! Watch 50! Brought down right around the 30. coming. This one's going deep to the end zone. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety, so the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Strike to his receiver, no good. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. It's a smart job here by the coaches. Making a play call here that really played to their offensive strengths. That's knowing your personnel. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Runs outside for a nice game. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. Second down and five. Ball on the ten. And he hits him hard at the four-yard line. So they gain six yards on the play and pick up the first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. Touchdown, Bulldogs! He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 13-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So the score now, 21-14. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's out to the 30. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Over the middle to his tailback. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. And that shows you why he's such a weapon as a ball carrier. Good game for the offense. There's a strike complete. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. With the catch and knocked out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. Let's it go. This one is incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. From the 35-yard line, second down.
Hit as he threw, and he completes it. He's knocked down a bounds at about the 25-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. South Alabama will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the 22-yard line, first down. And he might want it all here and does. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. The 10 passes to his tailback again. And he's tackled right around the four-yard line. Over the middle, got it to the halfback, touchdown. Kirk, how about that touchdown? I thought the quarterback made a nice read right here. He checked off his receivers and went to the open running back. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. South Alabama gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He heaves it deep. Doesn't get there. So we've played two quarters. 21-21 ball game. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Tied at the half, each team's move has been countered by the other. So far, nobody's been able to establish checkmate or really even generate much momentum. So what is each team, what's the most important thing for the second half for one team to gain an edge in this game? Well, it seems like there has been an answer, and at some point, you know, you just got to get your offense and defense both working together. You know, when you do score, how about you get a stop so you can get your offense back and continue to add to the lead? And sometimes it's hard. Sometimes, you know, the, the game swings and it goes one way and you can't stop it, and then it comes back the other way. So I think maybe it's a special teams play. You know, maybe it's something off the radar that, that you're used to. Maybe a big punt return, a blocked punt, but... So far, the offenses and defenses seem even. Maybe you can get an edge on the special teams. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical edge. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Heading into the third quarter now. Tie ball game as we're set to resume play. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. 
He's in trouble. He lost the ball. They fall on him. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Out of bounds, right around the 24-yard line. He's under pressure. He wants it all going long. And he's immediately tackled. The cavalry's coming. He throws. It's the sophomore that's got it. And he's taken down at about the five-yard line. in this territory, but they look totally in control there. And he adds the extra point. Louisiana Tech to kick. Makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And down he goes around the 25-yard line. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 25-yard line. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. Makes his way to about the 48. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. That brings up second and 13. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Throws it out and it falls incomplete.
drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. And he's level at the 43. That'll make it second and nine. So the sack makes this a second and long. Louisiana Tech is up by a touchdown. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Excellent open field tackle. Good possession there for the defense. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Drop down at the 44. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost them the possession. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires out to his receiver. Bounces off a would-be tackler. Knocked out of bounds around the 32-yard line. Throws a bullet over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. And he's hit immediately. That's a great tackle at the two. That's good for a game of time. That'll make it second and inches. Touchdown, South Alabama. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. So that's a five-play, 45-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. Let's see if this offense can reestablish some confidence after being stopped on downs the last time they were out on the field. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 46. it to the 32-yard line. Caught a big hit there to 
stop him. Number three, on the top of the 29 yard line. That'll make it 35. So at the end of three, and a 28 28 time. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Caught out in the open. Touchdown! Huge play! So obviously a lot of excitement about that score here early in the fourth quarter, but they've got to get their heads back in it now. We've got a tight football game and a long way to go. And he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all this one great kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback things aren't tied but they might as well be it's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter on the reception look out nobody there he gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. Throws middle of the tight end. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. That brings him second and five. There he goes. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That's a deep turn. That makes it first and ten. He's under pressure. Heading for the corner. Tackle right around the 30. That's good for the first down. Strike to his receiver, no good. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that. And this play is number eight on the drive. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He airs it out. Caught. He's all the way. Touchdown. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. You knew they had to dial up something big, but these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play. Will be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Number 13 to return. He's out to the 30. 
He makes it to the 32-yard line. Press, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. They'll go Brown. Runs outside for a nice game. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, second down. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception, and what's ironic about that from going for the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. There's a strike complete, and he hits him hard at the 35-yard line. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. the catch and look out he's tackled at the 23 a quarterback in the gun with five receivers inside the 10 what a play to set him up with a first and goal They'll spread the field with five wide. It's the 11th play of the drive. Just under two to go in the game.
Here's the call from the referee. Delayed, Delayed game, game, offense. offense. Louisiana Tech up six. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at the 39. Fires it out. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Boy, he put so much heat on that ball, I don't think anybody wanted to get their hands on that. Short yardage situation, third and one. And he's taken down at the 44. the stop around the 31 yard line there's very good chemistry between these two they like to run through all their routes before the game and i have to say they look sharp before this one even started halfback's got it on the quick throw brought down right around the 24 yard line well designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback you need those things to make any offense work under a minute left He throws left. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at the 12. Strike to the receiver, touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's out to the 30. What an offensive flurry here in the fourth quarter. Man, I can barely catch my breath. Neither one of these offenses can be stopped. Late in the fourth quarter now, tie football game. And if we're headed to overtime, I hope it's going to be as good as what we've seen through four quarter. Delayed handoff. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. The Bulldogs will use their first time out of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. And they got him. 
You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Toss is out for the tailback on the screen. Just a tremendous play there late in the fourth quarter in a tie football game. And now it all comes down to the final seconds or overtime. And he muffed it. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters. We still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. Zips it to the back. Tackle at the 17. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. From the 17 yard line, it's second down. The five. He's taken down around the three yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. Fires that quickly, incomplete. They're at the three. Second down. to have the ball second in overtime, but only if you can make a stop. Now that they gave up a score, they're playing from behind with a ton of pressure on them. And he converts the extra point. It's first and 10. Ball in the 25. out to his wide out. He's tackled around the 19-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. The 10. Touchdown, Jaguars. So they come up with the equalizer. This offense did just what they had to do. They knew they needed six points, and they got it. That was just a great series. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. From the 25-yard line, first down. This one's going deep to the end zone. And he's tackled at the 10. They go back to him on a quick throw. Touchdown, Jaguar.
and he adds the extra point. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he might want it all here and does. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He gets out to about the eight. Steps out at the four-yard line. That brings in second and goal. He's under pressure. From the twelve-yard line, it's third down. He might have had some room to get that pass in there. So that's a big knockdown there by the defense. And he's going to be sacked. We had a fight to the finish here today.